the summer, you know it's all about the shades. But do you really have to pay a lot to get great sunglasses? Early show consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with some answers. I mean, it's about how they look, but they're supposed to protect your eyes, too. Absolutely, absolutely. That's key. Well, a $5 pair off the street or a $200 pair of Versace glasses. Which pair offers more UV protection? We went sunglass shopping and then had them all tested to find out. More than 100 million sunglasses were sold in the U.S. last year alone. No doubt about it, sunglasses can make a fashion statement. I just buy them because of how they look. But their function is to protect our eyes from harmful UV rays, which can lead to everything from cataracts to skin cancer of the eyelid. If you're buying a $5 pair of sunglasses, do you think that they have UV protection? No. We wanted to find out if that's true. How much are they? So we bought 31 pairs of sunglasses, ranging in price from $5 to $100. $5 each, and they three pairs for 10. Some came from street vendors, some from drugstores. Polarized would be definitely over 100. Oh, really? And some from expensive establishments. Say all, say 100%. And all of the glasses claim to have excellent UV protection. UV protection is very, very important. It's like you wouldn't go to the beach without putting sunblock on your body. Dr. Mark Werner runs the Stahl Eye Center in New York City, where we brought all of the glasses to be tested. If this machine reads zero or one, it means our glasses have 99 or 100 percent UV protection, which is considered excellent. Oh, these were 100 bucks. No surprise with our expensive pair. 100% UV protection. All right. Same goes for our pair that was $55. 100% UV protection. Now watch what happens when we started testing our cheaper sunglasses, the ones we bought from the drugstore and off the street. The results may just surprise you. 100%, 100% UV protection. Excellent protection. Perfect. 100% UV protection. Of the 31 glasses we tested. Nope, these are not safe. Only so one got a failing grade. So it seems like it's hard to find bad glasses. It's hard to find glasses that don't give you good UV protection, but it's not impossible. And you don't know until you get them checked. Go get yourself some cheap sunglasses. So if you're spending hundreds of dollars on sunglasses, what are you getting, if not better protection? You're buying style, which is fine. You don't have to spend a lot to get a good pair of sunglasses, but you can't always trust the label. And these are the sunglasses that failed that UV test. The doctor told us these are actually worse for your eyes than wearing no sunglasses at all. That's because of the tint. It will cause your pupils to dilate, letting in more UV light than if you were just squinting, Erica. Okay, so then the million dollar question is, since they all have that label that says 100% UV protection, how do I know if they really do? You don't, unless you go and get them tested with a phenometer, which is something like this, which you can get at your eyeglass shop. You can go in and have your eye doctor test your glasses. And we talked about the cheapy $5 glasses right. off the street compared to the $200 Versace's. These had the exact same UV protection. Wow. Now, the Versace, you're probably getting a better lens, you're getting the name, you're getting a better product physically. Sure. But when it came to protection, they were exactly the so same. So if you're one of those people who buys the $5 sunglasses because you lose them all the time. Don't feel guilty about don't it. Don't feel guilty at all. Susan, thanks. All I right. love this segment.